This is Eagle Owl, and today I will be talking about Devin White attack mentality. Also, we got to talk about Jalen Hurts ready to take control. And lastly, Trotter Jr. want to create his own path, but let's get straight into it. All right, man, before we get straight into it, Eagle sent some scouts to go watch the Bulldogs and Clemson Tigers. And this is good. This is a good thing, man. How we always scouting, always looking for the next guy up who he can steal from the draft. And it's two guys that stood out to me on Georgia's side anyway. That Malachi Starks guy, he's showing. He can be a safety in this league. And uh, DN. Now, the DN, he kind of remind me of Nolan Smith, but I don't think Nolan Smith got the size to, um, I think his name Michael Williams, like 6'5", really long arms. But the problem with him is he need a tool bag. Like, he's physically gifted, but if he get that tool bag right, he's going to be one of those ones in the NFL. But he got to get the tool bag right because it's the NFL. No matter how fast you are getting off the line or anything like that, the offensive linemen, the offensive tackles are just as athletic. So you got to find other ways. But if he can, he can be something in this league. But. Let's get into the topics, man. Let's talk about Devin White. It's this mentality, man. Like, he want to go get it. He want to go win. And Baldy broke down his tape and showed, like, what the Eagles are going to get from Devin White. But let me play this clip. As Eagles get closer to the start of the season and their opener in Sao Paulo, Brazil, all eyes are on the inside linebacker position. So far, Zach Bond and Devin White have started both games. What you love about Devin White is he's going to go blow stuff up. All right, He's going to make those kind of plays. And he's got speed. I mean, his game is run, hit, and get there quickly. Like right here, you got third down and five. Do not let Josh Johnson get to the end zone. You protect the end zone. You force the field goal right there. His speed closes it down. You watched him last week against the Patriots. It's the same thing. Attack the line of scrimmage. Like get on, bam, just go smash the guard, get off the block, and go make the tackle. Like, that's what he can do. That's his game. All right? Now, speed to the ball. Now, you watch this right here. Now, he's not going to make this tackle, but he's going to be there. All right? They're going to throw this little hitch out here to Demario Douglas. Who's there? Bryce Huff on the tackle, but Devin White is right there. All right? The speed, you, you can't let those plays get started. And then this right here. Like, play away, now he's free. I mean, he's got 23 career sacks now. He's right on Jacoby Brissett right there. Like you, speed to the ball, blitzing, playmaking ability, and just smashing things. That's Devin White's game. You see, man, that attack mentality. He runs, go get it, go hit. Something we was missing from the linebacker role. No offense to the guys last year, but we was just missing that. Like you felt the missing presence of a TJ Edwards and even a Kaiser White. Like, we needed that type of presence. And I think Devin White is going to bring that to the team. We need that attack mentality. We need that guy that's going to go get it. So, Devin White, man, I know a lot of people are 50 50 on him because what happened at Tampa Bay, one point, a captain, you just knew he was going to get paid to an uh, epic collapse. The problem with the Devin White thing, I think the front office and the business screwed up his football game which is not cool that's not good because you completely gave up on your team due to the financial situation you know if you play well how we will pay you so he know what he got to come and do but that Patriots game the one ball he broke down Devin White was pretty decent he was pretty decent man so hopefully you know he can show this Friday game I can't believe it was six six to five days It'll be a game, a Philadelphia Eagles game, because I know Thursday, I think it's the Chiefs and the Ravens. That's going to be fun to watch just as an NFL fan. But Friday is our game, even though, you know, I'm, I'm like 80-20. I hate that it's in Brazil, but it is what it is. We just got to deal with it at this point. You know, if we want the game to grow, got to have international games. Yeah, man, I can't wait to see the Philadelphia Eagles play. Like, 
too like the Devin Whites. I, I'm happy to see CJ GJ back. I want to see what he do, especially how he was talking from the last clip I played from the last video. Like this team is going to be special. It can be special, but we got to show it on the field because you can see that last year. Last year we had some, we had guys. DeAndre Swift is nice. We still had AJ Smitty. You had Kelsey. You had the old line, but the play calling was bad and. We just couldn't figure it out. And even with all that talent, you still found a way to, what, win 11 games? So that's that's decent. So we got to see how the play call is going, how this team is gelling. And if they are, this team is going to be special. And Devin White will play a big part of that. But let's talk about Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, man. Uh, I know a couple guys commented on my last video. So you guys thought I was going to talk about this on my last video. But I couldn't really get to it. But it's the Jalen Hurts. And Jason Kelsey thing, you know, the media is trying to spin it to make it something, but I really don't think it is. People are saying, oh, Jalen Hurst is making an excuse. It looked like he's pushing the blame more on Jason Kelsey while the protection was what it was. And other people are saying, like, Jalen Hurts, you know, he's ready to take control because what elite quarterbacks do you know that don't call their own protections? Now, we was fortunate enough to have a Hall of Fame center that can do it, but Jalen Hurts want to do this himself if he want to take his game to the next level. But let's play the clip that everybody is just, you know, taking out of hand or misunderstanding, I should say. And Jason Kelsey, who, who took on a lot of responsibility. And and as a result of that, I was told not to worry about a lot of things. Um, and so um, my eagerness to learn and all of that over the years, you know, kind of was halted because of who we had. But now times are different, and I'm excited for that journey. You see, I, I don't think Jalen Hurts meant no malice by it. He's just like, yo, I want to call things how I want to call it. Like, Jason Kelsey was one hell of a player, but I get to call it my way. So Jalen Hurts got the best play caller to do it, and Kellen Moore. So I think Jalen Hurts is going to show that he can do these things because a lot of people question him. You know, his, I guess his smartness on the field. Like, Jalen Hurts is going to handle this and take this by storm, having more control. You paying him to have that control, I believe he can do it. Because we know Cam Jurgens is good, but he's not Jason Kelsey. Jason Kelsey is a Hall of Famer. So, um, yeah, man, I, I can't wait to see Jalen Hurts just prove a lot of these dudes wrong because it, people are getting it misconstrued. Like, again, like he's just this – dumb quarterback that got all these good players and talent around him and he's just a part of this system and while he is a part of a great system right now but he's the engine of this system like he get things going so we we gonna see it it's not we will see we're going to see this we're going to see him take control of the pass protection make the right reads and beat the blitz i believe that wholeheartedly so he got to show and prove it. He definitely got to show and prove it. But let's get into the last topic. Something I wanted to talk about a little bit, but I'm happy Try to Junior brung it up himself. Always wondered the pressure of your father being an Eagles legend. Will that get to his head? Will he try to live up to that? But I'm going to play a clip from what the Eagles dropped when the rookies was talking about training camp. And Try to Junior brung up his dad and let me play this clip dad and you know the legacy he's left with the eagles and just having a great career and the knowledge that he's poured into me but for me i try to focus on what i can do to get better at my game because at the end of the day it's really just trying to you know critique myself and perfect my game and my style of play so i can become the best player i can possibly be i can't even imagine the pride you must feel watching that. oh man listen and as a dad man i'm telling you man it seemed like it seemed like i just took a visit the St. Joe's prep to take my son for the orientation and prep. And he, look where he at now. What's up, big dog? How you feeling, man? So good. Hot out here today, huh? Yeah, yeah man. See, keep working, keep stacking great days, boy. Yeah, man, looking good. Proud of you, man, just keep grinding, man. You see, I'm happy he said that, that he want to create his own path, do his own thing. While his father was great, his father was great. But he got to create his own path. Hell, Trotter Jr. not even like built like his dad. So 
try to Jr. is good that he's trying to create his own legacy. Yeah, y'all love my dad for this, but y'all gonna love me for this. He got that demeanor, like he want to get better. Like, of course, he learned a lot of things from his dad, and he's playing for basically his dad organization. Like, try to try to Jr. got this, man. But I'm happy he's not trying to like, yeah, I want to be like my dad, this and that, which is not a bad thing. But creating your own path, doing your own thing will help him in the long run. Because you see some of these kids from legendary people, they usually fizz out because they try to be like their dad not finding themselves. So it's good that Trotter Jr. is, you know, finding himself. And trying to be the best version of himself and not just trying to be his dad. And, again, create his own legacy. But that's all I got for you guys today. But, hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about the news today? A short one. Wasn't much news out. Just wanted to give y'all my thoughts on a few things. A few things I had archived. Some things I be having so much stuff archived, I just be forgetting to talk about. Like, I had to try the junior thing for a minute. Even the Devin White thing, but so much news was coming out. I'm like, I'm going to pick a slow day to talk about these things. There's another thing I want to talk about. I've been holding back for a while, but we're going to see how the news go today. And then I'll talk about the thing I've been wanting to talk about for a minute. But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm out.